How can you break up a multiplication fact? Maria wants to set up seven rows of four chairs for a meeting. She wants to know how many chairs are needed, but does not know the product of seven times four. How does this arrangement of chairs show seven times four? The chairs are in an array. There are seven rows with four chairs in each row. How can splitting an array help you multiply? Think about this question as you do the activity that comes next. If you don't know what 7 times 4 equals, just try it. Or you can count by 7s. 7, 14, 21, 28. Maria thinks of 7 rows of 4 chairs as 5 rows of 4 chairs and another 2 rows of 4 chairs. Could Maria have broken the 7 rows any other way? Yes, she could have broken the seven rows into three rows of four chairs and four rows of four chairs. The distributive property says that a multiplication fact can be broken apart into the sum of two other facts. What is five times four? What is two times four? What is three times four? What is four times four? Five times four equals twenty, two times four equals eight, three times four equals twelve and 4 times 4 equals 16. 20 plus 8 is another way to find 7 times 4. So, 7 times 4 equals 28. I am 28. You lucky numbers. 28 is the number that comes after 27. Would the total number of chairs have been different if Maria broke up the 7 rows in a different way? I think Maria would. No. The facts would have been different but the total number of chairs would be the same. But 28, you got a good guess. Thank you. You're welcome. Maria needs 28 chairs in all. And also, to look for more math videos, please work on it. And please like like like, and subscribe. Click and own the bell, and be well.